Hi guys, it's Dana. Okay, we're gonna make some pockets today. Um, just kind of like they look almost like envelopes. And I just wanted to choose something simple to do today because I am tired. <laughs> I've been packing and um, I just wanted to, I wanted to create, but I wanted to do something simple. So um, I've got a few pieces of paper here. I'm going to start with the 12 by 12s. And I've just got, this is the last piece of the Stamperia Wonderland that I have. So I thought I'd use this. Um, and this was just a piece that I had in my stash. Now I'm using double-sided. Um, you don't have to use double-sided, um, but you'll see what I mean. You'll, you're gonna wanna ink it or something like that if you don't have double-sided. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I don't know if this is gonna fit in my trimmer. No. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is line this up on my mat with my points on a line because I don't have a trimmer and I am horrible about using a craft knife. I just don't, I don't do that very well. So what I'm gonna do is just line my ruler up here, try and be as straight as I can. <laughs> and I'm just gonna tear it. Down to this point here. And I'm gonna do both of them because from here I can use my trimmer. So I'm gonna do this one as well. Just gonna line this up. still hear my puppy in the background. He's still struggling. He's better. He's definitely better, but he's still struggling. Okay. So now I'm going to use my trimmer. I don't need it. And I'm just going to line this up. sure I'm just using a line on my trimmer to make sure the bottom edge is straight with the point there and I'm just gonna cut it so you're just gonna basically trim your 12 by 12 down into I'm sure some of you have seen these before I've seen them lots of times I've just never made them before and I wanted to do something simple and add some pockets to my stash here So we'll trim this down. My very last piece, we used every bit. I just have a few scraps left of that Stamperia Wonderland paper. Boy, that was pretty, wasn't it? wanted to experiment with this with several different sizes, a few different sizes of paper. So this is with the 12 by 12. Then basically all you're going to do is, uh, maybe I should score it. Let me grab my scoreboard. I've got, I'm in the midst of packing my craft room and stuff, but I do still have my scoreboard out. So let me just grab it really quick. There we go. Okay. So these are 12 by 12, so you just put them in your scoreboard and you'll score at four and then eight. It's that easy. So kind of a mass make here today. These will be really cute to have in my stash. So I wanted to let guys know, thank you so much for all your prayers and your well wishes. And those of you who don't pray that we're offering up just positive thoughts for us. 
we signed a lease on a house today. So with six days left to go, <laughs> well, you'll see this Saturday, so it was Friday, and we're supposed to be out next Friday. So with exactly one week left to go, we were able to find a home and signed a lease. So kind of down to the wire, but you know what? Sometimes I've found that's how God works in my life. And I'm truly grateful for all the prayers and well wishes that y'all have been sending my way. Um, we were blessed because um, we were, I was pretty much resigned to, um, to the fact that, you know, if we had to move into an apartment, we would do that if it came to that. And, um, and then also, you know, I thought if we had to move into apartment, I was pretty sure we were probably going to have to get rid of, um, at least our big dog and, um, my boss, which I was very upset about. And, um, so, okay. So now we're just going to fold on our score lines. I'm just evening up the bottom edge here and then folding. And then we'll glue it and it just looks like a little envelope. Really cute. This one looks like a little off. I'm going to trim that because it's bugging me. There, that's better now it's centered and then it just looks like a little envelope so this one what I'll do is go ahead and I'll fold it the other way so that the green side is out and the music is on the inside pretty easy guys but it makes for a really cute little pocket so I'm just gonna do them two one way and two the other way. Where is my score line? There it is. So anyway, I was kind of resolved to the fact that I might have to get rid of my, my big guy. And um, I was not happy about it, but you know, was willing to do it. I mean, my pets are like family um, and it was breaking my heart because I felt like the longer it took us to find a place, the more, um, the more I felt like we'd probably end up in an apartment. And my two other dogs are um, small. I have a, a poodle and a chihuahua. So um, I was just kind of like, I knew that my, and they're old. They're kind of at the end of their life. You know, one of them is 17, one of them is 13. And I felt like if I had to get rid of anybody, um, that it was going to have to be my big guy who was younger and definitely um, easier to rehome. And so... Um, so anyway, we were blessed that the person who rented us this property um, was willing to let us keep all three of our dogs. So I was extremely happy, <laughs> extremely, extremely happy. I got some of these, I guess I just didn't fold the right way. So my point's not centered, but that's okay. A little snip, snip and we're good to go. So I'm going to fold these two the opposite way. And aren't those cute? Really cute. How did I do that one this way? we have those done okay and um, and I'll show you where we'll glue them for any of you who have not seen it done before so let me go ahead and ink this 
because it's a lot easier to ink it when it's still um, not, when it's not glued together. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna ink this edge here, and then just the sides. Very cute, very, very cute. And then I'm just gonna glue this bottom edge. Oh, we're stuck. It's been a couple of days since it got used. There we go, we're gonna glue this bottom edge. And then this bottom edge. And that's it. Really cute. Very easy. Very cute little pocket. I like that. Okay, so now that I've showed you how to do it, let's let's see what we can come up with with some different sized papers. So the first one I have here is an eight by eight. Okay, this is very old paper pad I've had. I've been purging and to going through my craft room as looking toward the move. And so I have this whole thing of shelves to the left of me that has like, it's like an Ikea thing. So there's like um, 16 cubes in it that are like um, 14 by 14. And so one of them held all of my paper collections, um, like the paper pads. And I found this in there and I forgot I had it. And it's super cute. It kind of almost reminds me of like a farm. Um, and this is an authentic and it's called uh, Cheerful. But it looks like almost like farmish. And so I thought it'd be fun to do like, I just found at um, Dollar Tree. Let me see if I can find it real quick if I see it near here anywhere real, really quick um, yeah this fun little denim looking um, fabric at Dollar Tree and so I thought how cute that would go together to do kind of like a farm journal so um, so I thought well I'll, I'll make some out of here so let's and this is double-sided paper here's some fussy cuts little fussy cuts that are cute this one might be really cute yeah let's use this one we're gonna have to trim off the little white strip at the top here um, so let's make a couple out of this size oh the plaid would be really cute oh, let's do this one that one's really cute it looks like a quilt so yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do with this one is make a little farm journal and use that uh, little denim material to use the, uh, do the fabric cover out of. So let me put this aside here. Let's trim off this white edge that they have. And these should fit in my trimmer to be able to trim them to the right size. I'm gonna do these one at a time for some reason. They're not even. do them together okay so yeah these are gonna work in my trimmer so I'm gonna line up the points into my cutting line and just cut those so we have those Okay, so we have those, and then I thought I have this 49 in Market Curator's Botanical, and these are six by eight, and you have to start with a square. So I'm gonna choose a couple of pieces and um, we'll cut them down to six by six. That's really pretty, and these are super thick. 
This is a gorgeous collection though. Oh, that'd be really pretty. The back side though is not very, it almost looks white on those. I want one that's got a back that is, uh, let me just look at the backs. Okay, here's a green one. What's on the front of that? Oh, that's pretty. So let's use this one. And then I saw ones with a blue back. This one is that one. Let's use that. Okay. Put those back in their packaging. So I'm going to trim these to six by six because you need to start with a square. go in my scrap bin okay so now I'm gonna trim these and these probably be little tiny ones which would be really cute for like um, you know, when you put a bag in the journal signature, be cute little pocket to like glue onto the bag. Okay, let me grab my scoreboard. Okay, and these are six by six, so I'm going to score at two. And, oh, that was probably wrong. No, because we're, looks like eight and a half. So if I go, hmm, 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 that wasn't right. If I do three and six, it's still not going to be right. Two and a half. Okay, here's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go two and a half, and then I'm gonna flip it, and I'm gonna go two and a half again. And let's see how that did. Yeah, that should work. Oh, look how tiny these are gonna be. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, that's adorable. Okay, so I'm gonna do two and a half on these. So two and a half. And then two and a half. Okay. This front part isn't as deep as these, but that's okay. It's still a pocket. Nothing's gonna fall out, you know what I mean? those okay now let's see the eight by eight let's see what we have as far as length on these these are like 11 and a quarter so let's do let's do if I did three and a half Let's do three and a half on that. And see how those look. Yeah. Okay, so let's do three and a half on these. Just figuring this out as we go. The 12 by 12 was easy because they were 12 inches across and so four and eight. But when you start messing with the sizes, you've got to figure out what's going to kind of give you a centered, the flaps to be centered. But I think this will work. So now you guys have those measurements. 
Okay. So those are super cute. So let's go ahead and burnish these and look at the different sizes. So this one will be this kind of basket weave on the outside. Can't find my score line. Here we go. Okay, that's really cute. And the point is centered. Okay, so that was the eight by eight paper. So we scored these at three and a half from each side. So that's cute with the little, let's do one of each. We'll fold this one with the basket weave on the inside. And that's cute. See the difference though in size? Like it's not much shorter than this one, but it's wider. And this one is off just a little, so I'm gonna trim it. To make it look, my point look centered. There we go. And the other one was perfect. So there's those two, those are cute. Okay, and this one was the one that looked kind of like a quilt. Okay, and that's centered pretty much. That's so cute because it's got this check here in this quilt pattern and then the outside is that. And so now let's put a quilt pattern on the outside. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. And that one needs to be trimmed a little bit. There we go. Now that's centered. So we have these. Now here's are gonna be our little teeny tinies. These were the six by six. Oh, isn't that cute? Now, like I said, this isn't as deep here, but it's gonna be fine. You're gonna tuck something in there and it's not gonna go anywhere. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I wonder if I have, I just wanted to see, I'm gonna grab just a bag that I would put, fold in half and put in a journal. Because what I'm thinking is these are gonna be, look how cute that's gonna be. Like on the, on the front or the back of our paper bags in a journal. That's a cute little pocket to go there. <laughs> okay, here's the other blue one. I wonder how it's gonna look with the blue on the outside. Let's see, you're just basically gonna see text. That's okay. That's cute too. That's really cute. Okay, and then we have our green ones. We already folded this one so we could see how it looked. And then we'll fold it with the green on the outside. Oh my gosh, aren't those adorable? Okay, now look at all these pockets inside of, let's see, how much time? 24 minutes, we have four, eight, Twelve, sixteen 16 pockets in like 24 minutes. <laughs> so pretty cute. I'm happy with that. So now I'm just going to ink these and glue them. And if y'all want to stop the video, that's fine. I'm just going to sit and at least get these inked and glued and ready to go. I'm not gonna do much in the way of decorating probably when I use them in a journal. 
I'll go ahead and um, decorate, you know, because there, I mean, there's not a ton of room here to decorate. You definitely can put something on there, but I'll just do that with whatever ephemera I have for, um, um, for the, whatever journal I'm working on. So how are y'all doing today? I hope you're doing well. I feel extremely blessed by God today. Not only did we let, uh, were able to find a home, not an apartment, um, but I'm able to keep my puppies, all of them, and I'm so, so happy about that. And they wanted a one-year lease, so I'm um, grateful that it wasn't going to be anything like short term. At least I know we're settled for the next year, you know. The only thing that I am a little bummed about is I have lived in the city that I live in. I live in Buckeye. And um, we have been in Buckeye for 18 years. And um, 13 of those... No, 14 of those, I have been with the same church and the same church family. And um, so that is the thing that I'm a little sad about is leaving my church family because where we are moving to is probably an hour away from here. Maybe not that much, maybe like 45 minutes. And, um, definitely, um, definitely going to have to find a new church home. It's just not close enough to be able to attend Church of Buckeye anymore. And, um, I'm very sad about that. It, it's kind of breaking my heart. And, uh, I've been with my church a very, very long time. They have pretty much seen all my kids grow up. Um, my youngest was only four years old when we started going there and she's 18 now. And so they've, you know, and, and it's a small church family and I love that. And so I feel like they've raised my kids with me and it's, I mean, very close knit group of people and I am very sad about leaving and it's just the city that we live in I, I mean we just couldn't afford anything here rent prices are just absolutely insane um, right now um, and the biggest challenge that we faced was finding something we could afford and um, so it's just nuts how high rental prices are right now. And um, I just, I mean, for what we're paying for this, I mean, the, the house that we found that we signed a lease for is a um, manufactured home. It's only got three bedrooms and two baths. So I'm actually sacrificing um, having a bedroom um, I'll be the one kind of with my bed out in the living room and uh, so that my mom and my kids, the two kids that live with me, have a room. My son definitely needs a room um, because he actually got a new job and um, that he starts next week and well the week after we move so week after next and it's a remote position and so he has to have a room because he'll be working remotely in his bedroom and um so and then my my daughter my youngest daughter who's 18 she um you know she needs her own space i'm not gonna have my 18 year old sit and have a you know have to sleep out in the living room and definitely my elderly mother needs her own space so so it's me who sa is sacrificing a bedroom, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. But I was gonna say, the price that we're renting this 
how this manufactured home, this small manufactured home, um, is the same price we pay. I mean, we've only been in the home, the home that we just got foreclosed on, we've only been here three years. And before that, we were renting for, I mean, like 10 years before that. And we've rented several, several places. We were moving like almost every year. And um, because, you know, we'd get to the end of our lease and um, and the owner decided they wanted to sell. They didn't want to rent anymore. And, um, and so we were moving like every year. I think we only had in that 10 year period, we only had like um, one or two houses where we ended up at there for two years instead of one. But anyway, um, the houses when we were renting before we bought this house all my kids were still with me and so we had to have um five bedrooms at least and so and we always managed to find a five bedroom home that we could afford and it's like this rental prices now what we're paying for this little manufactured three bedroom home um, is what is more than what we were paying for five bedroom houses that we rented here in Buckeye in the city that we lived in. And now I can't even afford to stay in Buckeye anymore. That's why we are moving in more toward the Phoenix area. Um, because Buckeye, we just can't afford it anymore. But we never had a problem finding a five bedroom home to rent that we could afford in Buckeye. And, um, and now, I mean, I could, there, I called this a par apartment, okay, apartment complex in Buckeye. And um, asked them, you know, because they had three bedrooms. And um, so I asked them if they had any three bedrooms available, and they said, yes, they did. And I asked them how much it was for a three bedroom apartment. Three bedroom apartment, not a home, apartment. $2,200 a month, $2,200 a month for a three bedroom apartment. I could not believe it. I was just flabbergasted. I never ever have paid even for a five bedroom house, $2,200 a month. I could not believe it. I was just stunned. And so, I mean, therefore, the reason we can't stay in Buckeye anymore. We just can't afford to be here. So you can imagine what the rent prices are on, on you know, houses, a four-bedroom house, um, when a three-bedroom apartment is $2,200. So it was just like I had no choice but to leave Buckeye. And I just, I'm so sad about that. Not only about leaving my church, but... I love Buckeye and we moved here 18 years ago when my youngest was a baby. Um, she was only about four months old and um, I he, uh, and I have just I was very um, hesitant. I was married back then and I was hesitant to move out this way um, but my dad had died and um, my mom was moving in with us and we needed um, we needed five bedrooms and um and where we were living the city we were living in at the time here in arizona there was just the only way we could afford to buy a home that was five the five bedrooms we needed was to kind of move way out west where they were building new home uh, subdivisions and buckeye back then this was like you know 18 years ago buckeye back then was just uh, I mean, they didn't even have a grocery store when we first moved out here. And um, and so it was a brand new kind of city that they were building up. And the houses were cheap. Um, I think we bought that five-bedroom house um, for like $96,000. And I mean... And it was five bedrooms with a loft and the whole bit and um, two stories. And it was like 2,800 square feet, some nice big house. And um, 
Boy, you just can't find that for that price now. You can't even buy a manufactured home for for that price now. I just can't even believe the prices. I couldn't believe that $2,200 for a three-bedroom apartment. And some of you guys may live in areas where that's, especially in California, that's like nothing. People would be like, $2,200, that's a good deal. Well, not for out here. That's just absolutely unheard of. I'm kind of waiting for the market to crash. It kind of reminds me of 2008. And if you guys, any of you guys remember and owned a home in 2008, um, when the market crashed and everybody's homes were being foreclosed and, um, I'm kind of waiting for that now because this is just like, geez, hopefully I'm prepared when it all comes crashing down and you can get homes for cheap again. I'm hoping I'm prepared to be able to do that so that I can get something for mom and I because probably the other two kids are definitely going to be gone by then and it'll just be me and mom. These are so cute, you guys. Tell me if you've made these before. I've seen them a long time ago and I've seen several people do them. I've just never made them. And tonight I'm just tired and I've been working on the house and stuff and I thought, oh, I wanna do a video and say hi to you guys. And um, but I wanna do something simple. I'm, I'm definitely not gonna start another journal until I'm moved. Um, I don't want to have a big project going. Um, and I do want to let you guys know my videos might be a little sparse. I'm not sure. It's really going to depend on how I'm feeling at the end of the day. And, um, um, basically, yeah, it's going to depend on how I'm feeling at the end of the day. And, uh, if, I can get a video done because at some point I'm going to have to pack my craft room too, you know. I'm going to wait as long as possible, um, but at some point that's going to have to happen. I'm going to do it that way. So. They might be a little far and few between. I know the house that we're moving into doesn't have as much natural light. Like my craft room here, although it's nighttime now, so I've got the lights on, but um, my craft room now, when I do videos during the day, it's great. My, my desk here, my crafting table sits um, right under a window and I've got tons of natural light. And um, it's not like that in the house that we're moving into. I'm actually going to have to probably go buy some lighting to put in my craft area so that I can do videos and you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Let's see. So as soon as I can get set up there, we'll get back to some regular videos. In the meantime, I would love if you guys would comment below and um, let me know, um, you know, what type of videos um, you'd like to see. Um, I know I do a lot of journal making, a lot of ephemera making, um, but I'm open to all kinds of other um, crafting and stuff too like mini albums, um, things like that. And I haven't done a mini album in a really long time. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing something like that, let me know. Or if you see me do something um, maybe a long time ago on my channel and maybe you'd like to see it revisited, um, let me know, comment below. all folded in there. There we go. These are going to be really fun to use in journals. I love these. Really cute little pockets. Just a few more to go here.
so pretty. I loved that collection. That's that Stamperia Wonderland collection. It's the very last piece of paper I had. So I thought, well, I want to make something pretty out of them. I do have other Stamperia collections. Um, I think I've got a couple more that are really pretty. Okay, last one. Just looking and it looks like this one didn't quite close that paper that 49 in market is really thick doesn't surprise me that I might have to hold that one for a little bit let me check the other ones the other ones look okay this one popped open right here on this side So did this one. What is it about this right side here? Well, that one looks okay. Okay. 16 pockets. <laughs> Just because I was trying out different sized papers. Okay, close up my glue there. All right. So we have these made out of the Stamperia Wonderland. Those are super, super cute. And then these were just that music paper that I had that was backed with that pretty green, like, I don't know, Florida de Lis pattern kind of. So we have those. And then we have these cute little mini ones. These were done out of the six by six. Really cute. And then these were done out of eight by eights. Really cute. All right, guys, well, I'll let you go for today. Um, again, I'm not sure when my next video will be. It's gonna be hit and miss until we get moved and I get set up in my new craft area and can get some lighting in there and stuff. So over the next couple of weeks, it's gonna be touch and go. So hang in there with me, and once we get moved and everything, we'll get back to our regularly scheduled programs. <laughs> so as always, you guys have a wonderful day. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video, whenever that might be. Bye, guys.